Future Man is a show on Hulu that is about someone who travels with his two companions through time to try and change the future from a disaster occurring. Future Man begins as a story about a video gamer who defeats an impossible game that people from the future had put there in his present time to see who could beat the game who would then ultimately become the chosen one that saves the world. I'm Tiger. This is Wolf. We've come back from the year 2162. You're gonna help us save the world. In the future, there is a deadly virus that will wipe out a good chunk of the world. But the main threat isn't the virus itself. It is the vaccine of the virus that is the cause for the most concern. So his job is to prevent the past, what is now his present, from ever creating the vaccine. Because the vaccine turns the people who take it into a sort of hive mind-like race that loses all their personal freedoms like freedom of thought or self-expression. These people are called the biotics. Now that sweet old man's research leads to a super cure for all diseases. The people injected with the cure, the those are the biotics. This show began less than two months after I had uploaded my first video on this channel. To put it bluntly, the show is about me. I believe Future Man the TV show was made in direct opposition to what I was doing here because it lessened the chance for more people to be able to find my channel without stumbling over the Hulu show Future Man first. Like if you were to search Future Man on YouTube, this show would be all over it, essentially bearing my own content. But don't get me wrong, I do enjoy the show immensely because of the humorous reenactments from my very own life that they have been portraying dramatically. Most of the scenes in that show could easily parallel events from my own life. Like for instance, I am a huge gamer. I have been gaming for about 30 years starting with the Atari. The future man in the Hulu show also has a menial job that is mainly made up of physical labor and cleaning up after people. I unfortunately also share his same circumstances. His friends are also here? nicknamed after oh, animals. All, all of my friends are coincidentally Lemur, also Bruce, nicknamed Coyote, after animals. Worm, mantis, spider, mm -hmm. cougar, muskrat, <laughs> hyena, bison, meerkat, wildebeest, boar, porcupine, bat, hawk, zebra, gopher, rabbit, <laughs> and wolf. The biotics, oh, the main biotics. villains in the show, are actually figures of my imagination that I had created when I was very young. I had used to draw these villains that I called the biotics, but I spelled it with a K instead of a C, that were sort of these artificially enhanced humans. And they were up against what I called the muscle men, who are essentially the good guys. Humans that were natural and muscly. That's why I called them the muscle men. I know that isn't very creative, but I was about five at the time. And oddly enough, they look very similar to how one of Future Man's companions look named Wolf. One more for you, Blaze. <laughs> Eventually, Future Man and his friends end up in a place they call Haven. Haven is a timeless place that is quite beautiful in its simplicity. It is a place that is almost exactly like what I saw in my dream when I was very little. It has beautiful scenery like from my dream. It is a place that I would consider as heaven, only what they call it on the show is Haven. Haven is also timeless, time having no effect there. Oh. Well, either we made it or that is one big coincidence. There is also a small cottage that is almost identical to the one that I had in my dream. The cottage in Haven also has a single window that is looking out into what seems like a dark purplish void that has no business of being there. This is the same purplish void that I had seen in my own dream. They also say at the very end of the show that Future Man was based on a true story. They were obviously joking about it, but they actually weren't wrong. I suppose that the universe has a way of being holographic in nature, where the universe always reflects back to you to try and communicate with you in a way. This is how the universe has always communicated to me through TV shows and movies that I watch. And although this show was very over the top, it was still, from what I saw, basically a good representation of my own life. I'm Future Man. 
So what does this all mean? Why is the universe, or what we can call the matrix reality, seemingly replicating or mimicking my life into its very own fabric? Why did 923 happen in the way that it did? Was it because I believed that it would happen so much that it had to happen, so to speak? Doesn't the Bible say that faith can move mountains? Maybe I had so much faith in that it would happen that I had convinced the universe that it should happen. My channel is really a quantum experiment that proved out to be true. Overlapping timelines, other realities colliding into our own faster and faster and faster until they all become one and that one gets sucked into a big fucking time hole. As I described 923 happening is exactly how it happened and on the same exact day. An event that was impossible when you really look at all the variables of it and why it shouldn't have happened, yet it did happen. So what is that supposed to mean? Does it mean that we can change reality by our thoughts alone? But do you need the ample amount of faith to back up those thoughts to actually make them a reality? Or was it all just destined to be a prophecy that had to be fulfilled that was told thousands of years ago that was promised to happen? Happen? Because the universe is reflecting me, telling me what I believe is true. I know it sounds weird, but I am telling you the truth. The purpose of my channel was to give you proof as a quantum experiment that I could change or at least predict what the future would bring. And I also believe that I was sent back in time, at least my consciousness was, to help save this present timeline from falling into the vaccine trap that is set for us. One issue that has come up is once you do have a, a vaccine, how do you properly distri distribute it? Uh, how do you get it out quickly? To well, when we people? have the vaccine, we have the military all lined up, and the military is going to be doing it uh, in a very uh, powerful manner. All I have to do is affect enough consciousness on this planet to knock off its trajectory into a more positive potentiated existence. Congratulations. You have defeated all of the biotics and saved humanity. You are the savior. Like I have said, I am not here to gloat or to ring my own bell. I am only here to show you the truth. And the only way that I could have explained it to you was to experience it for you. I was here to experience the truth so that you would realize all the possibilities of that truth. The possibilities that lie within our own consciousness. We can create newer, better versions of who we are, open to all of life's wonders and possibilities. 